Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to check out some of the cool new features in AirDroid 3.0. Now, if you're not familiar with AirDroid, it's a service that allows your phone and your computer to interact on several different levels. You can do stuff like transfer files between the devices or view contacts and call records from your phone on your computer. But the latest version adds a bunch of cool new features and an updated interface. Most notably, the computer side of the exchange can now be handled by native programs for Windows and Mac. This gives you a much nicer platform to interact with your phone, and it even brings a new screen mirroring feature that allows rooted users to control their phone with their mouse and keyboard. So to get started, go ahead and install AirDroid on your phone or tablet, then we'll check out the setup process. First up, you'll have to either sign in or create an account, so tap the button at the bottom here to begin. If you already have an AirDroid account, just put in your credentials on this next screen. Otherwise, you'll have to tap Sign Up to register a new account. Alright, so after that, AirDroid offers you a chance to set up its notification mirroring system. This will allow you to see all of your phone's notifications on your computer as they come in, and it also lets you respond to incoming text messages. So tap the Enable button here, then tick the box next to the AirDroid entry, and press OK on the pop-up. After that, tap your phone's back button to head out to AirDroid's main menu. In here, you'll find some of the various functions that allow you to interact with your computer, but there's another interesting option that needs further setup to use. Find Phone allows you to see your device's latest GPS coordinates from the interface on your computer, so tap that entry to set it up. From here, press Turn On Now, then hit Activate, and another screen will pop up. Hit Activate on this one as well, and you'll be able to track your phone's location now. The rest of the setup will be done on the computer, and as this message at the top of the screen tells you, just point your computer's browser to web.airdroid.com to begin. Now this screen is the old AirDroid interface, and it still gets the job done if that's what you want to do. But some of the more intriguing features in version 3.0 require the standalone program to be installed on your computer. This pop-up in the middle of the page gives you a link to the installer file for AirDroid, and it'll auto-detect your operating system, so for Mac users the OSX file would be linked out here just the same. But go ahead and click the link to download the standalone program. When it's finished, just launch the installer file. After that, follow the prompts for installation, and when it's finished, AirDroid should automatically launch. Just like on the phone, you'll have to log in with your AirDroid account to use this, so let me do that off screen real quick. Now when you get to the main menu here, you'll see all the various functions that AirDroid is capable of. You can send files back and forth between your computer and phone, you can tether, you can view text and call logs, and even read your phone's contact list. But up here under user account, there's one of the more interesting features. If you click your device from this menu, AirDroid will attempt to mirror your phone's display to your computer. You'll need to be rooted to use this feature, and if you are, you'll see a super user request pop-up on your phone at this point. So go ahead and tap Grant on that pop-up, then if your phone is capable of using this feature, a live feed of your screen should appear in this box. It's a beta feature, so it's not going to work perfectly on all devices, and I haven't been able to get it to work on my Galaxy S5. But essentially, it'll let you use your computer to control your phone. You can click the screen with your mouse, and even type with your keyboard. In addition to all that good stuff, AirDroid will also let you respond to text messages from your computer. You don't even have to have this window open to use that feature. Just wait until a text message comes through, then the notification will be mirrored to the bottom right corner of your computer screen. From there, you can click Reply, and immediately start typing your response. So there's a lot of stuff to like about AirDroid 3.0, because it continues to get better with each update. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.